good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today we're going to be talking about some figures that i want to see from mattel in 2019 you know we got a lot of figures this year that we didn't know we were going to be getting you know we know we're going to be getting you know an elite jeff hardy and a new randy orton and a velveteen dream and all these figures coming out in 2019 but i'm talking about figures that we haven't quite seen yet figures that you know we don't have any idea when they're coming out or if they're ever going to come out so uh, today's video is just going to be that. I'm going to show you some pictures of some customs of figures that I would like to see from Mattel. You know, these are going to be based on, you know, certain guys and everything to, to give you guys an idea of what I'm looking for. So let's go ahead and get into my list. All right, guys, so the first figure that we have for you guys is two different Finn Balors. Obviously, I've talked about this a hundred different times, but I think in 2019, it is going to be finally time for a colored attire Balor. It doesn't, it doesn't necessarily have to be Elimination Chamber as it is here. This custom by uh, Angel, I think his name is uh you know gene addy's custom maker but uh we have that figure i would love to see a finn balor and just a colorful attire whether it be his red trunks his blue trunks just any trunks that he's worn that aren't black i want to see a non-demon different colored trunks finn balor and then i want to see a new demon finn balor preferably SummerSlam 2018 i think that would be the best one maybe they can do it in the SummerSlam elite line i think that uh, that would sell really well but i do not want it if it's going to be the daniel bryan torso i don't want anything to do with that figure don't even look at me with that figure um, maybe it can come with an interchangeable head scan with the tongue sticking out and maybe it can have a straight faced head scan as well I don't know. I think Mattel is going to be making some big moves in 2019 So hopefully that will be included this SummerSlam Balor right here was made by my boy BEW and it did get custom of the year on my Dammy Awards that I posted on Instagram. So a uh, huge shout out to him for making that figure. And uh, again, if it's going to have the Daniel Bryan torso, I don't want it. I only want it if it's going to be the accurate Finn Balor torso. And I'm not talking about the Neville one. I'm talking about the one that the ringside exclusive one has. That's what we want to see. So let's move on to the next figure. The next figure on my list, guys, is an elite HBK from the Ruthless Aggression era. I want to see him in the long pants with a red colorway. I want WrestleMania 24 preferably, but if we can't get that, then I want to see a long pants Shawn Michaels in some sort of red, black, white, silver attire, just like these basics that you see. We've seen it in basic form, so they need to give it to us in elite form. I think that we are missing this from our HBK collections. You know, we always get flashback HBKs, and we always get the, the tights. We never get the long pants, so I think that it's time for a long pants. Um, I think that would be really, really sick to see and I think that we could you know with the true effects head scan I don't think we've seen a Shawn Michaels true effects head scan with the new technology and everything so I think that they could easily incorporate that he could come with open hands and then fists you know for his pose when he uh, enters the ring or he could go with like praying hands you know so uh, you know when he like lays out his arms during his entrance I think that would be cool too but uh Knowing them, they'd probably just give us the wide open, you can't see me hands. But, you know, it is what it is. I just want a long pants Shawn Michaels with red in it. That's that's pre pretty much what I'm asking for. The next figure that I want from Mattel is a flashback RVD Elite, guys. You know, the Elite 27 was pretty disappointing. The head scan wasn't very good. The attire wasn't anything that we wanted. You know, we want the tiger stripes. We want a throwback attire that he wore all the time. We want a really cool RVD flashback with some championships or something. So I think that uh, any of these would do, you know, if they update, updated it, you know, we could get a true effects head scan. We could get, you know, even the smiling head scan on the basic wasn't bad, but I guess that we would get the true effects now that every single figure comes with the true effects, at least the elites do. So I would love to see this from Mattel, a flashback RVD Elite, maybe even a mo uh, Money in the Bank from WrestleMania um, with the Mr. Money in the Bank custom contract and an Intercontinental Championship. Something cool like that would be awesome. Even if it was ringside exclusive, would be even perfect. I think that that would be a perfect ringside exclusive. So that is something I'd like to see from uh, Mattel in 2019 is a RVD flashback Elite. Next on my list, guys, is something that I can for sure see happening. I can see this happening without a doubt. You know, it was long talked about last year when he returned at the Royal Rumble, and we're about to come up on Royal Rumble 2019. So I think that this is a definite and updated Rey Mysterio, whether it be from Royal Rumble, whether it be from the Greatest Royal Rumble, whatever. We need an updated Rey Mysterio. Honestly, wouldn't like the Greatest Royal Rumble attire. I think it looked like a diaper, that white thing over the... I don't know. This, this attire is much better. This is made by my boy, Mad Reaper Studios on Instagram, and he is a fantastic customizer. This figure is literally perfect from head to toe. It's a perfect rendition of an updated 2018 Rey Mysterio, and I think that this is going to be coming very soon. I just, I just know it because we haven't gotten a Rey Mysterio from Mattel in a really long time. 
And I think that since he returned, it's kind of like the Hardys. I thought that they would just pump him out, you know, and let us know about him. But I guess that wasn't in their agenda. It's not something that they wanted to do. But Rey Mysterio has to be an updated figure that we get. Considering he's on the main roster now, he's full-time and everything, we got to see an updated Mysterio. So this is definitely on my list. And I think that if anything out of this video is in 2019 from Mattel, this is probably it. Next up, guys, we have a cruiserweight division guy from 205 Live. We have the cruiserweight champion, Buddy Murphy. This custom was made by my man, the NWF on Instagram. Another fantastic customizer. I mean, we could use new molds for this. You guys can see on the shorts. Um, I think Mattel could do really well with this, considering they have the true effects, you know, technology now. He could come with that UK flag. He could come with the cruiserweight championship. And I think that it would be fantastic. A Buddy Murphy Elite. Um, any attire would do. I just don't think anybody cares. I mean, I, I don't. I, I think anybody would want a Buddy Murphy. I don't think they really care about the attire. We just want a Buddy Murphy that's not a basic. We want to pose this guy around. We want to have him in our feds. We want to, you know, pose him around on the table and do some great matches and cool cru cruiserweight spots with him. He's a cruiserweight figure. You can't have him in the freaking basic. You can't make a basic of Buddy Murphy. We got to have an elite. We got to be able to do his moves and flippy shit all over the ring. So uh, I think that Buddy Murphy needs to be a figure that I see in 2019, and it needs to be an elite, whether it's a UK exclusive, ringside exclusive, don't really care. We really need a Buddy Murphy elite in 2019, and that's why it's on this list. Next up, guys, we do have an NXT guy, and it is King Ricochet. We have Ricochet here, and I don't even remember what attire this is. I think it's War Games, considering he has the face paint. This was made by the NWF as well. Same guy that made the Buddy Murphy that you just saw. And this is a fantastic figure. This is exactly what I would want from our Ricochet. You know, he could come with a cloth hoodie, cloth entrance jacket. He could come with a North American Championship. That could be the debut of that title belt. Um, I doubt this would be an exclusive, just be unless it's an NXT exclusive. But we already know all of those. So it would probably have to be the end of 2019 before we saw it if it was an NXT exclusive to Target or something. So if they were to do this, I, I don't know if they would do an NXT guy for a ringside exclusive just because they, I don't know how well they would sell. I don't know if they know the numbers on that, but I think you could really entice people if you threw in the North American Championship with him, you know, if people really didn't care for Ricochet, which would be really stupid, you know, you, who doesn't love Ricochet? Um, they could throw in the North American Championship. We could get that mold. We could get a Ricochet figure, and that could be the exclusive. Or it could just be in the regular Elite line. I don't care. I just want to see this, whether it's a Comic-Con or something. I want to see a Ricochet made, and I think it's definitely possible. Uh, he should be made sooner or later. You know, we finally got Pete Dunne. We got Tyler Bate. Um, we've gotten Adam Cole in the Undisputed Era. We need to get a Ricochet. So Ricochet is definitely on my list, and uh, I had to put him in this video. Next up, guys, we do have a Hulk Hogan figure. Yes, Hulk Hogan. Someone please call 911. Something is wrong with MDT because he put a Hulk Hogan figure in his most desired wants right now for 2019. I mean, why in the hell would he want this? Because he absolutely despises Hulk Hogan. Um, I don't know, honestly. I just think it's time. You know, I think that he's finally being reimbursed by WWE. He's being brought back up and everything. So I figure, why not release an NWO Hulk Hogan? We got all the rest of the NWO. Um, we have a bunch of NWO figures that he would look fantastic up next to. I really don't care for Hulk Hogan. You guys know that. So, I mean, I don't really know why this is on here. But I would grab it just to have. It'd be the only elite Hulk Hogan in my collection. I literally have zero elites and zero basics of Hulk Hogan. That's just how I feel about him. And I don't know, but I think that I would love a NWO Hollywood Hulk Hogan. I think that that would be the first one I got. You know, we do have the Storm Collectibles one, but that really doesn't count because it's not Mattel. So I don't have any Mattel Hulk Hogans, but uh, I guess this could be my first with an NWO Hollywood Hulk Hogan figure. That's enough talking about that trash. Let's get into a figure that I would actually love. We have a Kurt Angle Elite. This is obviously a custom on eBay. I don't know the name of the seller. But uh, he does make pretty cool customs. You guys can see this is from the Ruthless Aggression era. And we have a Kurt Angle that is shirtless. I wouldn't want it to be shirtless like this, you know, with a singlet. I think that I would want the full singlet. And I would want, you know, just a different Kurt Angle. I think that we don't have enough Kurt Angles in the singlet. You know, we have his Elite 59, and then we have his Entrance Greats figure. And then we have his Milko Mania. And then we have that stupid ringside exclusive shield figure that's awful. So... I think we need another one. I want to see these boots from Mattel. They're my favorite boots. Growing up, I always loved Kurt Angle's boots. I think that him, Dolph Ziggler, Bret Hart, they have the best boots. And I want to see them made in Mattel Elite form. So I want to see these boots right here. I always loved them. I always wanted a pair of them myself. So, uh, you know, the last two... 
Kurt Angle figures, we've gotten plain white, and then we've gotten his red and white boots. So I want to see these, the freaking, you know, nostalgia pop for me. I want to see these boots made by Mattel. So I would love to see a Kurt Angle from the Ruthless Aggression or even Attitude Era. I think he did, he did wear these in the Attitude Era, so I would like to see uh, just these boots. That's pretty much it. Not even a Kurt Angle figure. Just, just release the boots. And the last figure on my list, guys, is an Elite or a Basic Leo Rush. Yes, Leo Rush. This custom on the right, this is like way back on the channel, guys. This is like, I think like five months or less into the start of my channel here is a custom El Generico and Leo Rush that I did receive from BEW. He did a fantastic job on both of them. I have not seen another Elite Leo Rush custom since this day, and it's the only one I've ever seen, and I think it's the best one. I mean, it looks great. We got the size down. We got the head. The head skin's not the greatest, but it's probably the best we could have done for the time. We have all the tattoos on there. We got all the, the, the great white attire. I mean, what can you say? Um, obviously, he was my favorite independent wrestler before he came to WWE, and now he is in WWE, so it is official. We can get an action figure made of Leo Rush. I would prefer Elite, but I don't think it would probably sell too well, given that he's more of a manager, you know, side guy type role right now. So a battle pack or a basic would probably be more, more likely um, for Leo Rush, but uh, screw it. Let's release a Leo Rush. Let's just see a Leo Rush in 2019, whether it be a prototype or whatever. I just would like to know that he is being made, but that is pretty much my list of figures that I want to see from Mattel in 2019, guys. Let me know down in the comment section below what figures you would like to see from Mattel, whether it be basics, elites. I would love to know down below what you guys think of figures that you want to see in 2019 from Mattel. But that pretty much does it for today's video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I would love to know your thoughts on my list as well. What do you think about the figures I put on here? I probably could have listed, you know, 25 more, but these are probably the most desired that I could think of. But Thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.